Dear students, welcome to the e-learning. This initiative has been taken by Cambridge International School this year. Hello, I am Navdeep, working as PGTIP here. Students, till now we have covered a number of topics regarding the basics of Python. Today we will go through one more lecture and uh, that will be few more operations on arrays. Till now we have gone through the uh, basics of arrays, numpy and uh, covered few of the operations. Moving forward, so in the part 2, today we will uh, discuss the operations on arrays like concatenating the arrays, sorting arrays and finally we will go with the reshaping. So students, moving further, the topics that we have covered till date, that is introduction to NumPy, different attributes of NumPy array, indexing, slicing, arithmetic operations on arrays like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, remainder operator, and finally the transform. So NumPy as you all know that uh, this is there to store the list of numerical data, vectors and matrices. NumPy library has a large number of built-in functions for creating, manipulating and transforming the NumPy arrays. Students, uh, the NumPy array is officially called ND array that is N dimension array but it is commonly known as array. indexing now what is indexing is uh, we have taken the example of one dimension array uh, where the first element uh, is having the index value 0 now for the two dimensional arrays indexing for the both the dimension starts from 0 where i refers to the row and j refers to the column position like uh, here we can take the example like let's say we want to access the uh, marks of Prasad in subject English so where there are basically they are in the basically fourth row and the second column so to access it properly we require their index values so this is very very important the index value and how to access a value using its index Now the another important point we discussed was slicing. Slicing is basically cutting down the array into a smaller part that is a sub part. So sometimes we need to extract a part of the array, we don't need the full array. This is done through slicing. We can define the part of the array to be sliced by specifying the start and the index value. And sometimes we can also mention the third parameter that is the step value if needed. Along with the array name. So this is how the slicing is done. Slicing is to select a part of the array and the full array. So we have uh, discussed number of examples in our earlier lectures. Students, you can go through and the practice is very very vital for learning all these topics. Now moving forward, operations on array. So we have discussed number of operations on arrays like plus, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, multiplication and multiplication of matrices. These are two different things. So once arrays are declared we can access its elements or perform certain operations. Like first we are discussing the arithmetic operations. So after going through the uh, these arithmetic operations like uh, adding two arrays will result in the first element of the first array to be added to the first element of the second array. So sec uh, how these arithmetic operations are basically performed students that the corresponding like in addition the corresponding array element will be added to the second matrix corresponding array elements. So 
this is the same way this is done as it is done in the mathematics students then we performed the transpose operation on matrices so basically this is uh, where an array is converted into its rows to into columns and its columns into rows so we discussed this uh, example in a two dimensional matrices and and applied the transpose operation on that so students now coming to our today's topic the first is sorting how the sorting is to be done Sorting is to arrange the elements of an array in the hierarchical order, either in the ascending or in the descending order. So, sorting is a very basic operation. So, where we arrange the elements in a particular order. Now, the next is concatenating arrays. How we can basically combine two arrays? Concatenation means joining two or more arrays. Concatenation concatenating one dimensional array means appending the sequence of one after another so we have a first array and the second array elements will be just concatenated to the another array for that we have a numpy dot concatenate function to be used to concatenate two or more two dimensional arrays either row wise and column wise so students when we have uh, basically two dimensional array so we need to be careful that uh, whether we are concatenating it row wise or it column wise. So we'll take its example also that will give you a better clarity over the issue. All the dimensions of the arrays to be concatenated must be exactly except for the dimension or axis along which they need to be joined. So any mismatch in the dimension will result in array. So we'll take the applied example. By default, the concatenation of the array happens along x is equal to 0 where the, what this is x is as equal to 0 means x is equal to 0 means that is the column wise operation so we'll take and we'll clear this topic when we go to the jupyter notebook and finally students we have another topic that is reshaping the array so that is we can modify the shape of an array using the reshape function so we have this built-in function along with the uh, this uh, numpy reshaping an array cannot be used to change the total number of elements in the array so here we cannot change the number of elements in the array but we can change its shape changing its shape means that we can change the order of matrix like uh, if we have a by default uh, a three by three so total elements will be nine clear so we can change its order attempting to change the uh, number of elements in the array using reshape result in error so we cannot uh, uh, make uh, uh, modifications uh, in the number of elements but we can change its shape so we'll take its example also for better clarity so now our motto is to move to the jupyter notebook so students coming coming to the Jupyter notebook so our first topic will start that is sorting arrays so we'll take the first example let's say we have a array named as array 4 we use the numpy so before using the numpy the first operation is that we have to import numpy as np so here what we need to do numpy use array method and uh, then give the elements at the first is 1 then 0 then that's a 2 then we have minus 3 then 6 then 8 <coughs> 4 and 7 so these are the elements of my array I can see my elements by just typing array 4 go to this run option run this one so students the star means that my program is running so this is very important you do not disturb when this uh, star is there so here you can see that my elements are appearing as we have here elements i have mentioned here now my first operation is to sort clear so that is the operation is array 
for dot so. So you run this one. And now you can display the array elements. Array 4. Run this one. So now students, here first you are five, uh, looking at the original array. And this is the array with the sorted array. So by default, it's uh, arranged in the ascending order. Uh, now, students, next we take an example of a two-dimensional array. How to sort a two-dimensional array? Because uh, there the tricky thing is there that we have to keep in mind the row-wise and column-wise operation. So I am just performing this. So first, I enter the my first row elements 10 minus 7 next is 0 and 20 then I enter my second row elements first element is minus 5 then next is 1 next is 200 next is 40 so finally with my third row so my first element is 30 second 1 then minus 1 then 4 so these are the three rows that i have now i can list my matrix like this students you can see here array five elements i want to display now so this is the my two dimension array with three rows and four columns clear now next operation is how to uh, sort the elements so array five dot sort and then to finally display the array five so just go to the run option and now you see that elements are sorted but how the elements are sorted here first we have basically the they are row wise like this clear 10 minus 7 0 20 so minus 7 is appearing first then is 0 then 10 then 20 then in the second row minus 5 then is 1 then is 40 then is 20. then is the third one is minus 1 is appearing first and 1 then 4 then so this the operation is by default is row wise so students uh, if we have to apply the operation column wise then what we need to do so we have to just say that array 5 dot sort and mention my axis is equal to 0 so this is for column wise operation my now elements will sort like this in this the column wise so you go to this uh, before that I want to see array 5 now as the output now you can run this one so Basically, we have to mention here x is equal to I'm sorry. So now, students, you can see the elements are sorted columnized. You see the minus seven is the lowest value. So in this one, so then minus five, minus one, then zero, one, one. Then you know the this this wise. 4 is appearing first, then is 10, then is 40, and so on. So, this is how we can apply the operation row wise and column wise. By default, it is row wise, and by entering the axis is equal to 1, I can perform the operation column wise. Now, students, moving to our uh, next topic that is. concatenating our arrays so let's say my array number one is np 
dot array so i enter my first row with the elements 10 20 and the second row is let's say 30 and 40 i create my array 2 with np dot not array but zeros i just need zeros in the second array and i will mention their shape also like uh, in the order 2 by 3 and uh, where it's where their data type is same with the array 1 dot the type so there should not be mismatch between the data type of the first and the second array you just uh, now i want to see my array 1 and then array 2 go to this run option so the first array 1 is not appearing here so this is the array 1 clear the first matrix and similarly the array 2 containing all the zeros in the order of two rows and three columns now students we can also check the shapes also so let's say my array 1 shape is you can check their shape also so their order is 2 by 2 and similarly the array 2 dot shape so you can see the shape of second one is with two rows and three columns now students our first operation is to basically concatenate so we will apply the operation np dot numpy this is concatenate now enter the parameters array 1 comma array 2 and then finally mention the axis equal to 1 so you see here what does axis equal to 1 means so because their both their rows are matching axis equal to 1 means so that's why the operation is done successfully clear so this is students where basically the concatenation is done on the basis of row wise now students if the same operation with the same order i i apply the operation on column wise then you see the difference np dot concatenate array 1 comma array 2 with x is equal to 0 now the operation is now basically will run on the column wise and you see uh, the column of the first are how many columns are there two and the column in the second one are three so when i run this one so you see students here uh, that here in this one but the area error it is giving value error all the input array dimensions for the concatenation axis must match exactly clear but along the dimension one so this is because uh, it is saying that uh, array at index 0 has size 2 and array at index 1 is having the size 3 so its si first size is 2 second size is 3 there is a mismatch and the concatenation will not be performed so take care of this aspect also then we are going with the concatenation operation so now students finally we move to our last uh, topic of the day that is the reshaping arrays we have already used a bit of this one so we'll uh, discuss this in detail now that is let's say we have a array array 3 and uh, let's say we say that numpy dot array and uh, we use here the arrange function 
and we say that the starting element is 10 move up to 22 this is start at the end value by default the in increment will be by one and uh, you just uh, before running type a array 3 to see the array 3 just run this one so the array is uh, created with starting value 10 going up to 21 because uh, 22 is not included and these are the 12 elements we have this is how we use the range function students we have not mentioned here the step value third parameter clear now let's say uh, how we can use the reshape function array 3 dot reshape function with order i specify 3 comma 4 so means 3 rows and 4 columns for these 12 elements just run this one so you see here i can change its shape again by mentioning array 3 dot reshape method with two rows and six columns so when i run this one now the same array now has been converted into two rows with six columns students we cannot increase or decrease the number of elements but we can change its shape clear so this is how the reshape works i think that uh, you might have found the today's session quite interesting so my humble request to all of you is that you practice because just looking at these things will not serve the purpose you have to practice this so coming back to the ppt so students please practice all this and also closely look at your uh, textbook don't forget to make use the best use of your textbook so at the end i thank you all for attending the session if you have any doubt you can contact me so thank you thank you very much for attending the session